Hey everybody, John from IPT. Today, we have a 1992 Subaru SVX, which is your phase one for EAT unit. We're gonna show you the valve body removal and installation process. Here we go. All right, to take this valve body out, the first thing I do is take a picture of it with my phone. I re recommend you guys do the same because this thing is a mess. Back in the day, we used to have <laughs> a Polaroid with all this stuff and <laughs> floated around the shop because um, there was no cell phones back then. But anyway, the first thing we're going to do is remove our electrical connectors. And uh, these are pretty easy. Trying to not have it come out of its little bracket there. ground strap there and you have one cumbersome pipe okay next is going to be all of our filter bolts and just keep in mind this one bolt has a whole mess of stuff that goes under it. You're gonna have a temperature sensor, you're gonna have this bracket, etc. So Subaru, at least uh, these units are nice enough to put all black bolts because these are all 10 millimeters. How do you know which ones to take out without a manual? Well, on these, they kind of make it easy for you. And what we're going to end up with is two different length bolts besides the filter bolts. So there's going to be long bolts and short bolts. And keep in mind with these little bracket things. Uh, it's got to hold this whole pipes in place. All right, so one more bolt, two more bolts. Three more bolts. They never end. You usually want to move this to the side. So you got to go up. Oops. Get this. I forgot one of the connectors. And out with it. All right, here's an overview of what we're looking at. All the bolts laid out by order of their length. And as a reference for you guys, these are your accumulators, okay? Of note is this spring goes into the transmission first on this piston that's all the way towards the back. All right, step one, we've greased all these O-rings already. You gotta put some grease on this piston to kind of defy gravity. And we're gonna put that in. And it's the same process for all of them. You want to make sure your gasket is greased down because it's going to come up and get caught under stuff. You'll see as we go, this is kind of a mess of brackets and, and stupidity up here that we have to deal with. But anyway, what's of particular note is this tab and this valve has to engage into there. All right, otherwise you're gonna have all kinds of problems. This is basically what hooks the valve body to the shifter inside your car. Now, as we're putting this down, I just have this here for temporarily. I have to take that bolt back out. 
Okay, so now you can check it. Park, reverse, neutral, drive, third, second, low. What we're looking for is this valve to move with the shifter on, obviously. I have this here temporarily. This bolt's going to have to come back out, but it kind of makes it easier to put the valve body on like that. So we have short bolts, long bolts, filter bolts, and two brackets, and this is another bolt that's going to have to go back into the valve body. All right, we have this bracket that has to go here. We have one up here, which is going to take one short bolt and one long bolt. And this stuff is all temporary. This is all going to have to come back off, but it's just to get stuff assembled, we got to do that. So we got some more short bolts. short bolt and a short bolt okay so that's what we look like so far So I just use a drill on a low clutch setting. And we're skipping this because it's got to come back out. Now we torque these to 80 inch pounds. Eighty to hundred. I do the eighty. Okay, and these things are a mess. There's a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're gonna have this pipe to deal with and a filter to put on. Filter, as always, you would lube it up. It's gotta go under all this stuff here. And this pipe is gonna go like so. It means, that bolt needs to get loosened. So our filter bolts are gold, not black like the other ones. We have this bracket, this bracket that has your temperature sensor attached, and then the filter on the bottom. Pipe is next. Use a rubber mallet or something else. It's all pretty easy stuff.
All right, now we're gonna make our electrical connections. I kind of forgot this. So we'll go back and do that. We have a ground strap that we're gonna put right here. And they're pretty self-explanatory. bracket everything right under here all right so this is the finished product so to speak um, the pan we're gonna do later you want to put it on make sure it's got no rock nothing holding it up they make a gasket but I prefer to use silicone because it's more reliable uh, in regards to them not leaking on you. And I just always, one of my little OCDs, I always check that again. But that's it, we're done.